tell me, is it your, your, it's your first trip here? My first trip, yeah. And what do you think so far? What day is it? How many days have we this been here? This is my eighth day oh good so you've yes. had a good eight days here oh every from the moment i got here what is something you've learned or you've come away with i've been healed inside i know i have i've been touched by the holy spirit yeah. I've been blessed by god i've been blessed by mother mary i was a homeless man five months ago living in a tent on the street i lost my home i lost my wife my family i'm an alcoholic recovering alcoholic that's been lifted by the grace of god i've got rid of so much baggage, torture and pain, yeah. inside pain that I've, uh, I've been carrying for years and years, but I feel, I feel brand new. Wow. <laughs> Touched by the Holy Spirit. And this is what this magical place has done for me. Opened my eyes, because I opened my heart. How would you describe to someone who's in a similar position, how did you open your heart? How can they open well, their see, heart? Well, see, even when I was drinking, I always prayed to Our Lady for some reason. But she couldn't help me because I didn't put the drink down. But as soon as I put the drink down, I was off the street. My family came back to me, as some of them. Yes. These, I met these beautiful people, these God, people from God. Yes. That Two of Edward in particular took me into his home. Yes. He fed me, he clothed me, he washed me. Him and his wife Eileen, they brought me here. Out of pure love, before I came here, Edward took me to adoration and I went back to the church. And I was at adoration a few times, a few weeks, and I was just going, praying. So one day I just, I knelt down before Jesus mm -hmm. in the tabernacle. And for the first time, I was honest with God. And I just said, I don't know how to pray. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to ask for forgiveness. I said, I don't know anything. I don't even know who you are. I don't even know who I am. And all of a sudden, from I can't even describe, from my toes all the way up through my body, this calm, calm feeling and I just said God if this is real am I dreaming it? what's happening and then my heart just went like he was he was answering me yes and it was I'm not even going to try and describe it I yes. felt it yes and from see I was touched before I came here I arrived here and it's it's been wonderful this is Bridget hi Bridget we're doing an interview Bridget yeah oh, you're, an interview oh, oh you're doing yes. an interview it was the sacrament of confession it was a holy adoration, the holy mass that took his life. And he got a very special encounter in uh, the Blue Cross. Every morning he'd go and he'd ask Our Lady to be his mother, to fill him with a, a blessing and a surprise. Wrap me in your cloak. Yeah. You lead the way, I don't know where I'm going, to. I go get lost to be found. My mother was here 11 times, so all her prayers have been answered. Because she told me many times that I wish you could come to Medjugorje. Is she alive now? She's alive now. She's 86, yeah. What does she think that you're here? She said, if I died now, I'd, I'd be at peace. So hopefully, when I go home tomorrow, she'll be the first person I go to. Yeah. I lost my son when he was born. He lasted for an hour. I connected with him here for the first time. He would have been 30. I was able to grieve him. I could feel him. I could feel his presence. And he's been my guardian angel. Didn't even know. He was without sin. He's in heaven. And this is what this magical place has done for me. Opened my eyes, because I opened my heart.